In this video, I am going to show you how to use Calibre RVE to find what nets are connected to an instance. I'm currently looking at the top level of my layout where there are four instances. I'm interested in finding what nets are connected to the second instance from the top. I have Caliber RVE open and have loaded a LVS database for the design. The first thing I need to do is query the instance I'm interested in. To do this, I am going to open Finder from the Navigator pane. In Finder, I'm going to do a search and layout for a particular object in my top level cell. I'm interested in an instance, so I'm going to disable the other three object types in the search. I don't know the name of the instance, so I'm going to select it from the Layout Viewer. To do this, I'm going to click the Populate Entry from Layout Viewer button to the right of the Object Name field. I will then click the Instance in Design Rev and then click Done in the dialog. You'll see that the instance name X2 has been populated in the Object Name field and Finder has already found the instance in the search results. As I expand the info tree for the instance, you'll see that the only information available is for the placement of the instance and information about the instantiated layout cell. To find the nets connected to this instance, I will need to cross-probe the layout and extracted layout net list. To do this, I will open the layout schematic in RVE. With that open, I will now highlight the instance by clicking the blue eye icon in the finder result. The instance is now highlighted in both my layout and the extracted layout schematic. Using the extracted layout schematic, I can now see the nets that are connected to the instance. I can click the nets in the schematic to highlight them in both the schematic and layout viewer. In this video, I've shown you how to find what nets are connected to an instance using Caliber RVE's finder and cross-probing features. My name is Matt Lagaki, Technical Marketing Engineer for Caliber RVE. Thanks for watching.